Welcome. This is a practice uh, that is somatic in nature, so I invite you to practice with exploration in mind. It's based on many traditions, some of which are, I will note in the notes, um, in the comment box, but uh, it's meant to be an exploration. So in this vein and also in our continued um, practice, please um, practice with the language of nonviolent communication and I'll also post some links about what that means um, as we grow our awareness in this practice together. So we're gonna come seated on our mat and uh, before we <coughs> practice, you will um, want some props. Uh, they aid in this practice, it's very slow, so if you're not comfortable seated here, you could also be in a chair. It's possible for the practice to be modified in that way. So um, you might want a block or a blanket rolled up or a pillow. Um, these things just to make yourself comfortable as we go into the awareness um, of the practice. So let's come uh, in a comfortable seated position and rub your hands together. Today this practice will help relieve tension and uh, help us release what no longer serves us, helping balance both the physical and the mental and the spiritual body as well as the emotional body. And we'll do that through pranayama and some light movement with an awareness to how it makes us feel inside. Drawing your hands into your heart center, press gently on the heart center, and close the eyes for just a moment. Just begin to breathe in and out through the nose, long deep breaths. And then I invite you to inhale now for a count of eight in your head. And right as you get to the top, exhale and begin again. We're gonna do that three times. So you inhale one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And just continue that for three breaths and then allow your breath to fall to a normal pace. Um, feel free to uh, adjust that if eight is too long. And we begin. and then blink the eyes open and release the hands out. So we're gonna begin with a flow with that breath. We're gonna inhale and it's got parts to it. And so as you get into it, close your eyes and just experience how your body feels and then we'll return again to Namaste to see what we felt like in the beginning. So this is a flow that I use in most of my yoga classes to some variation and um, I have for years and years and years, and it's also how I wake up in the mornings when I come into this seated position, um, just to see where my body is and to feel the breath and flow of a new day. So we're gonna start with our hands in Namaste, and when we inhale, we're going to hold here. So you inhale here, then you're gonna link your hands together and round your spine and tuck your chin and just so that it's light and comfortable and you're making a nice little O here. So I like to think of this as a, like kind of a, as a portal that like spreads down. So inhaling here right in the center, feeling that equipose, exhaling, rounding the spine. And then I'm going to flip my hands up and I'm going to take them overhead and a caution here. I'm not trying to straighten out or stretch in the very beginning. I'm just flexing my palms and opening up to the sky here, pushing in that direction. And then, so that was inhale, exhale, inhale. Then I'm gonna exhale my fingers back and behind me, 
almost like leaves that are floating down and let my fingertips brush into a comfortable position. And that's the exhale. And then on the inhale, I'm gonna lift my chest up to the sky. And then on the exhale, I'm gonna just walk down gently and fold down. And I'm really walking on my fingertips so I don't really like extend too far. Just wanna move my body. Um, and that's how we're gonna start. So we're gonna do that three times and I will cue you on the first one um, and just the breath on the second one <clears throat> and the third one. Here we go. So hands in namaste, take a deep breath in, inhale. Exhale, push out, round the spine. Inhale, palms up, fingertips still threaded up to the sky, nice round circle, inhale. Exhale, hands drift down behind you. Chin comes slightly to the chest here. Fingertips touch the ground. Inhale, lift up to the sky. Lean back into those fingers gently. And exhale, unfold. Roll out like a wave in front of you. Inhaling, coming back up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And once more, inhaling into Namaste, finding that center, that stillness. Exhale, reaching forth, rounding the spine. Inhale, lifting up to the sky. Exhale, circling the arms behind you. Inhale, lifting up. And exhale, unfolding. Now we're going to stay here. Use any props that you want here. I'm just going to use my elbows and just let your head hang. <coughs> we're going to go back to the breath. So an eight count breath here. And then we're gonna practice a mudra here called a tongue lock. And I'll put more in the text about it, but basically you take your tongue all the way back. So you curl it backwards and put it on the roof of the mouth. And this is gonna feel really weird and awkward. And you just do those deep breaths that way. If you feel restricted, release the tongue, come out of it, whatever you need to do. So you can grow a practice where you're able to do that. And this is said to be very good for blood pressure too, by the way. So um, it's, uh, it's stimulating your carotid artery. So um, in text, and I'll text, I'll put the text in the box. So we're going to just round down and hold that position. Exhale, just push yourself back up to a seated position. And then we're going to let the hands rest on the knees and just listen to your body here. Take some breaths in and out in an eight count and nice and even. And just listen to the spaces in between the breath, during the breath. What do you hear? for that sound.
blink the eyes open. Give gratitude to your body for allowing you to sit in the stillness and gratitude that it understands that stillness and allows you that time to listen, which is what this practice is about. It's growing awareness of, of our internal workings. So we are going to go into some easy twists. And I say easy because we're not going to use anything to prop us up or rotate ourselves around. And I want you to notice, if you will, how your body feels in each position with the breaths that we've been practicing. So we're gonna take our right leg out and our left leg is folded in. And if this is uncomfortable, you, I invite you to prop yourself however you need to for this. You, um, it is possible to, um, to do it in a chair. You'll just have to be very creative, which is wonderful. So what we're gonna do is we're sitting in this position. We wanna feel our sits bones on the ground. So we wanna feel some engagement in the core to hold us in this position. So sometimes the cushion will help you if you don't have that uh, hip flexibility. And this is for the hips. We're gonna open up the hips and the heart. So um, we're going to take our right hand on our leg and just feel what we have to do to keep that structure. So we're, we're still centered and we're sturdy. So we're going to use our left hand as a kickstand. So if your arms are challenged by that without gripping and pulling yourself around, I invite you to take a block. And I use a block and I'm going to do a hand stretch at the same time. So, um, so I'm going to put my block on the medium setting and when I turn I'm going to be lifting my palm the palm of my hand off to stretch into the finger so it would look a little bit like this I want to keep the thumb down or I could pull it up either one and then I'm going to release that out and I'm not going to do it again and we'll stretch that hand and that way I'm getting into the hand so I can relax the hand and uh, take some of that tension out that I carry in the hand that we all do if we're busy with our hands. So we have our left hand on the block and the right hand on the thigh and we feel that structure. And like that structure, I'm firm here, I'm safe here. And we're going to take our gaze with us. So inhale big and strong, sit the sits bones down. Feel the expansion of the lungs. And as you exhale, rotate and look over your left shoulder. And as you look over the left shoulder, the left shoulder is going to rotate down and back. It's going to squeeze to hold that. And then make sure you're relaxing that right leg and just give it some love with your other hand. And then we're going to hold this position and we're going to sit here, drawing that elbow down and relaxing the hand just for now. Take your eyes over the left as far as you can see, and then close your eyes and take three breaths with me. Inhale for eight and exhale for eight. Close your eyes and again just go inside. Let your leg that's out just rotate so that it doesn't have any structure. Or adjust yourself as you need to and take uh, three breaths in here. So we're going to fold the right leg in, take the left leg out, sitting up nice and tall. Here you may need some adjustment on this side. Go ahead and find that structure. Feel the roots growing in. 
lift the sternum up towards the sky. Feel that equipose and that balance and that center and that safety that you're creating for yourself. And the body is self-healing. We can create that healing by tapping in. So we're going to let that left hand rest on the thigh. And I do have some structure. I'm flexing the heel right now just to find that structure so I can really root there. But once I do that, I'm going to kind of relax into it after I stretch, so I want it to be nice and relaxed and present. So I'm going to go ahead and take the right hand back <laughs> on my block, and you might find it's different on one side than the other. Um, and again, I'm going to place my hand flat, and I'm not going to do this yet, but I will be doing it shortly. So we're going to take that hand where we feel comfortable, and we're going to very gently Inhale and lengthen through the crown of the head by dropping the chin just slightly. And exhale and look to the left. So let your eyes go first. And then wherever your eyes go, that's usually where your body is going to want to stay naturally. And then draw that left shoulder blade back. And if that drawing the left shoulder blade back causes pain, then you ease out of the posture. Relax into the right hand. And then close your eyes, and in your eyes, with your eyes closed, take your eyes so far to the left, as far to the left as you can. And then take those three deep breaths with me, inhaling for eight and exhaling for eight. Turn back to the center slowly and hold here for a moment. Let your eyes come to rest at the third eye. Relaxing out the left leg, maintaining the posture. and then blink the eyes open. We're gonna transition the legs out in front of us and just bang the big toes together. And then widen the legs a little bit and wiggle the legs back and forth. And we're gonna come on to our hands and knees. Um, so we'll be returning to that position so you'll see it, you'll experience it in a different way after we do some spinal flexion. And we're going to use the breath here again to do this. And this cat and cow is just a little bit different. So if you find that um, it doesn't work for you, it's a visualization. And I visualize my spine as a wave, but to limit my range of motion, I'm a very small wave. And I also keep more of this kind of fulcrum going on with my body rather than the rounding and the and the arching um, so if you feel like this doesn't work for you um, I'm closing my eyes so um, I'm my, my words might look different on my body perhaps then do what calls to you the point is the breath we want to feel the breath and what it feels like as our spine wakes up so I'm very engaged in my abs, but I'm also able to just let them drop. So if you can just let it go, it's kind of nice. Um, so moving the pelvis very gently in circles in one direction here as you find what is your neutral posture and then maybe taking it in the other direction so you can shift your weight here, just making little circles up, kind of orbital to relax the lower belly and then with the lower belly engaged I'm going to inhale and I'm going to slide forward with a little bit of wrist flexion so that's why it might not work for you I'm not going to soften my elbows I'm going to keep structure in my spine here so I can explore and then like a wave I'm going to roll back and then I'm going to come up like a wave so I'm going to bend my elbows 
and I'm just kind of exploring cat and cow as a wave. So I'm a cat-cow wave. And of course, we're exhaling on the way back here and inhaling on the way forward and exhaling on the way back. And right now there's no count to my way, but I'm gonna give it parameters. <laughs> so we're gonna be here for a moment. So pick a number and go for it. Like four, six, eight for the inhale. into child's pose, relax and relinquish here. back of your heart open up towards the sky and as you say in this posture picture your heart as a rose <laughs> and with each inhale that little rose is right in the center of your heart but with each exhale the petal opens up and as you inhale that form is held flower still there, and as you exhale, another petal unfolds. And we're going to continue that visualization through the entire rest of the practice, picturing that this beautiful flower, this rose in your heart, is unfolding with each exhale. So in child's pose, just allow that heart to do that. Relax and relinquish here with your props of comfort. Feel the life and stillness, and the stillness in the breath. The life in the breath, prana and apana. Letting go what no longer serves you. Nourishing what does. with another meditation but this time we're going to add a mudra so this is the apana vayu mudra and it's um, governs the lower half of your body and elimination of what no longer serves you but it also is for the heart and it's said to be a lifesaver that's the mudra and it's for people probably like me highly sensitive people um, who 
maybe busy and stressed and don't know how to let go. So this is a beautiful, beautiful mudra and I'll post the instructions on it and picturing that heart that as you inhale is held in your mental frame of mind and as you exhale another petal unfolds and just, it's the thousand petal lotus is what I picture but uh, it can be a rose or any, any any flower, um, and as a matter of fact, with this full moon and this very auspicious time in our astrology, it's the flower moon, the flower fullness of our, you know, of our, of our potential and our abundance, and so this is just such a wonderful thing to do at this time, so here we go. So the mudra is as thus. You're going to take your index fingers down to the pad of your thumb and push in. I've been playing it along with these mudras and they're really, really great ways to add some extra bang into the magic of the time. So um, we're going to take the two, the ring finger and the middle finger and your thumb index is going to, is, index fingers are going to touch the, the thumb. And then the pinky finger is extended. and. Um, it feels really natural to me, but I've been practicing it for, you know, about two weeks now. So, um, you're going to rest the hands on your knees. And I find that if I bring my elbows in, it's a little bit more enjoyable for me and a little less stress. So I don't want to stress out my hands. And that's why you'll see we use the blocks to stretch the hands. So it should be fairly relaxed. And you're going to close your eyes and just picture that flower unfolding on the exhale. Take a deep breath in. And Just release the hands if the palms come down on the thighs. Blink the eyes open, and then we're going to take the right leg out again. Again, if you have a prop that you need to for your leg, go ahead and prop up how you feel comfortable. We're going to do the same twist, but we're going to add on to it. So we're going to add a little stretching in here which, with the breath and the visualization. Um, and then we'll come out and we'll do the mudra again. So um, you're going to take the right arm on, I'm sorry, you're not going to take the right arm. Though. You're going to take your block and place that hand on. This is where we're going to do the, the thing where we lift up. So we're going to turn and lift up the palm just to stretch through the fingers. And then when we come back to center, we're going to relax everything, sit, and we'll go into an opposite stretch to help readjust the spine. So it's three parts. So the left hand is behind you like a kickstand. I'm on the block because I'm going to lift my palm up. And I'm going to have to facilitate that by lifting up with the elbow. But if you you know, if you're on the floor, you might be able to do it there. Um, not too hard, just enough to facilitate a little stretch through the fascia on the palm. That's what I'm going for here to relax my arms from lots of drumming last night. So, um, but very useful if you write or type or whatever, um, play instruments, that kind of thing. All right, so I'll take lifting up nice and tall. Find that structure, find that center. 
maybe place your hand. Let's place our left hand, our right hand, on the heart. So feel the heart here. Let's do that. Deep breath in. And exhale. Holding that flower that's about to expand even fuller now. Inhale. As you exhale, turn and look over that left shoulder. Let the forearm rest on the chest. And then go ahead and curl the palm with the left hand up. Invite a light stretch along the fingertips and stretching the, the palm. Take the eyes so far to the left. And let that flower unfold on the exhale. And then inhaling, stretching up nice and tall, releasing the palm on that block. Exhale to return. And then just take both hands on the heart and breathe here. Feel the roots of your sits bones, the structure. Can you lift a little taller out of your pelvis here, sit a little lighter. With that awareness of the beautiful anchor that is our physical body. And then we're gonna turn over the extended leg. So now find some structure by rotating that toe up, bend a little bit in the knee, take a deep breath in here, and exhale to fold down over that leg. And once you're there, you can kind of release into this so you can use a prop. And we're gonna use that meditation that we did before, picturing the back of the heart being the flower, opening with an eight count breath. And you can also roll that tongue all the way back up and stick it right in the top of your mouth if that feels comfortable while you're doing it. Really maintaining a nice relaxation, even though it has structure. Allow your body to release into the floor and that flower to unfold with each exhale. Inhaling, placing the hands on the ground or on your leg. Lengthen out the spine. Let the heart lift. Exhale, hold. Inhale, leading with that heart. Come back up to that neutral position. And then again, just sitting here in neutral position. and Take a couple of deep breaths in. The hands can rest lightly on the thighs. blinking the eyes open we're going to switch sides so gently and slowly switching sides and I like the little hand on the heart so we'll continue to do that we're going to switch our block over here and then placing the hand on the block so that you can pull the palm up and I'm doing it here with my elbow I am letting the elbow inform that so definitely going to feel a little bit in the shoulder if that is uh, okay on your shoulder. So if it doesn't feel right, you don't have to do that hand stretch. And you'll always want to make sure that you kind of work your hands out after you do those stretches, which we will do a little bit at the end. So lifting up nice and tall, finding that center, finding the sits bones on this side, just making those little adjustments and note Letting the hand rest on the heart, feeling the inhale, just pull up. Your gaze is at the third eye, 
your hand rests on your heart. Take a deep breath in, inhale. Palm is on the block. Exhale here. Again, finding that structure, inhale, rooting down. And then exhaling, turning over the right shoulder, looking as far to the right in your eyes if you can, holding the hand on the heart, letting it rest, the forearm kind of rest down towards the earth. And then from this position, peeling the palm of the hand off the ground here, releasing that left shoulder back and down. And taking those breaths in, picturing the heart. And the flower unfolding on the exhale. Placing the palm flat, inhale, lengthen. And exhale ever so slightly and slowly. Return back to the center. And then releasing both hands down. Again, taking three breaths here, releasing and relaxing into this posture, feeling that change in environment and letting the body release here from its work in gratitude. invite you to listen to the sounds in your room, the sounds of music in our room, the sounds outside the body and the spaces between them. And then inhaling, link the eyes open, exhale, and you're going to rotate over the legs. So now we're going to find structure by bending the knee and digging that heel in, lengthening up, inhale. And as you exhale, you're going to walk down over the leg and find some comfort here doing all the things. <laughs> so that's relaxing into the posture, letting go of the tension, breathing in an eight count, um, allowing the flower to open on the exhale and doing the tongue lock into the back of your top of your roof of your mouth, all while knowing your body, listening to your body and what it needs. So take a deep breath in, lengthen out, find that structure, and then sink into that deep posture and that deep healing. from here into a seated position again. You can fold in or stay as you are. And we're going to return to the Apana Vayu Mudra by taking our index fingers, our pointer fingers into the pad of the thumb, wrapping the thumb around and then pressing it to the middle finger and the ring finger with the pinky finger extended. Again, resting these on the knees, S sitting up nice and tall. I invite you to lengthen your breath, perhaps by a count, or you can stay at eight or a shorter amount if you feel comfortable there. Um, no strain should happen when you're breathing. And then I also invite you to picture the flower in your heart expanding on the exhale, still expanding. and. Uh, taking the tongue lock if you wish.
palms relax to the knees. Release the tongue lock. Keep the eyes closed. And then when you're ready, we're going to come on to our back. So we have a couple exercises before Shavasana. Um, and this is to get our spine readjusted. And uh, whenever you work the hips, you also want to work the neck too. So I think it's really related. So we're going to do a little bit of that. So coming down onto your back very gently and slowly. I like to roll down so I can feel everything. And I'm going to plant my feet close to me. And I'm going to be just using the floor and the landmarks on the floor to feel my back here. So laying here, I'm going to feel it with various positions in my hands with that breath work in mind. So I'm going to shorten the breath a little bit to a four count and still picturing that flower expanding up towards the sky and also down into the earth, almost flattening out like the diaphragm does, um, like a pancake, um, but still unfurling. <laughs> So with the hands down by the side and the feet firm on the ground, I'm going to just let the back rock up just slightly and then I'm going to imprint down. So when it rocks up slightly, it's like I'm laying down in bed and there's an arch in my back and I'm not really paying attention to my structure. I'm just letting go, letting the belly wiggle. And then when I print down, I start with my tailbone and I work at pressing each vertebrae in while relaxing my neck. And the neck is always the key part. So it helps to actually touch the body when you do this. So I'm just letting it go, I'm not holding on to it. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. And then pressing down and touching each landmark on my body, feeling it in the opposing way on the floor. I'm going to do that one more time. And then resting the hands down by the sides. I'm going to bring the knees up to the chest and hug them in, tucking my nose towards the knees. And then releasing the feet back down. Tucking my nose up to my knees, bringing my knees in. And then releasing back. Feet go on the floor, the back kind of arches off. And one more time. And then cutting into a neutral structure and printing again. And I'm going to find comfort in this structure. I'm going to hold here and return to the breath exercise. So I'm going to place one hand on my, uh, just below my belly button, between my pubis and my belly button. I'm going to place one hand there and the other hand on my heart. And I'm going to just have a light touch here while I'm in imprint. I can feel those muscles. And I'm just going to go into that eight, eight count breathing here, picturing the flower, no tongue block here, just breathing. And you may be shaking here, and that's okay. You're holding that imprint. Release it out. Go ahead and take the legs out. Open them fairly wide so you're comfortable here, and just belt the knees up and down if it feels good. Wiggle the hips a little bit. Stretch the arms overhead. Just bring the feet together and stretch as long as you can here. And then walk the feet back up and bring the knees into the chest and curl. 
One more time, you're going to inhale, take the hands overhead, lower the feet to the floor, bring the feet together, stretch out. Let the bar back arch really open up the front line of the body. Really feel that beautiful stretch, not be painful. Should feel really good and open. Let the fullness of the flower be shown. And exhale, walk back up, tuck the knees. Oh, gosh. Mm. And then maybe with the knees tucked, go ahead and rock a little bit side to side. Mm. And then lower the head. So we're going to take the knees over, so you can cushion up here. Um, we're going to do something with the eyes, so um, if you feel dizzy or anything, just go back to your normal twist, what feels good to your body, but we're going to, we're going to work the hips and the neck at the same time and the whole body and to neutralize the twists that we did that were very slow. So the hands are extended. and. The head is looking up at the ceiling. We're gonna take the knees over towards the camera. So whatever side that is, you're gonna take them over there. And you just gonna let, let them land wherever. And it's okay if your shoulder's coming up on the opposite side. So the hand that is away, you're gonna turn the palm up and just relax there. Relax there. Just let it come up like, like just let the fingers be loose and let it land like it landed on shells here. So just let it land where it is. You're going to take the head in the opposite direction and keep looking over that shoulder with the eyeballs even though the head is, the eyes are closed. Look gently over the shoulder with your eyes, keep breathing. head back to center, look at the third eye, gently take the hand that was out down by your side, slide the other hand back and rotate back to the center without pushing anything into it. Center your body again, squeeze the knees together, tuck the nose towards the knees, and then go ahead and extend the legs out again, bring them together, your thighs together, ankles together, stretch. Almost like you're falling, free falling, you're gonna fall straight through a chute. And then gently bring the knees back up again. So we're gonna do it to the other side, so if you need to adjust, you can. Because I have to adjust. So, on this side, you're going to go to the opposite wall, so you're going to fold over to the opposite wall, let the legs just, just land, and then that arm that's behind you is going to turn upward, and you're going to turn and close your eyes and turn your head and look over towards that hand, let your body stop where it needs to, and then the eyes keep going, all the way over that shoulder. side, slide the other hand in, and then windshield wiper the legs back into the center. Open the knees wide, and then take a happy baby. So you can grab a hold of the, the tops of the feet here, or you could grab the shins or behind the thighs. The elbows are fair, or the knees are fairly wide. There's all kinds of ways you can do it to get that traction. I like to flatten my spine along the floor, so I like that imprint for mine. I like that stability, but you could round if you wanted. Just depends on how, where you want to feel in the spine. And let's breathe here. Let's take those three breaths in.
after you finish that third breath, just gently and slowly make your way into Shavasana. We'll be here for a few moments and then we'll come up and exit the class through the beginning exercise. And I hope that you'll see how that breath and the visualization help reframe our thoughts into stillness and holding the moment. Release the breath. <laughs> Wiggle the fingers and the toes, bring your awareness back into the room, into your body. As you reawaken to this moment together, go ahead and move in any direction or way that serves you and meet me back up into a seated, comfortable position. When we attend to both the inhale and the exhale and bring balance to our breath, we also bring balance to our bodies. We are nourishing our body through oxygen and we're able to see the benefits of that by increased vigor and uh, creativity and brain function and when we balance the elimination of our toxins and carbon dioxide and our emotional holdings and tension in our muscles. We too reap the benefit of a better rest, a healthier mindset, and a more balanced way of coming into the world. And that's what this practice hopefully will bring. So it'll be recorded and um, it is recorded and it can be revisited whenever you need. We're gonna end with the last flow, which is right here, and the hands are in namaste. We exhale and we round the spine, we inhale and we lift up to our fullness and our greatest range of motion with comfort and love and safety. And exhaling the hands down with the chin to the chest, inhaling, lifting up towards the sky, letting the hips drop into the earth or float up into the air, and exhale and unfold like a tide, rolling on the shore. Beginning again, inhaling to the heart center, exhaling, rounding the spine, inhaling the hands up towards the sky, Exhaling, let them float back down to the earth. Inhaling up. And exhaling and rolling. One more time, we're going to stay in that forward bent position. Inhale. And exhale, rounding. Inhaling. Exhaling, circling behind you. 
Inhaling, looking up towards the sky. And exhaling in and folding in front of you, propping any way that you'd like for three breaths. your next inhale with that fullness and abundance and beauty in your flower that has opened in this practice. Return back up to your seated position and we'll end class together with three deep breaths in. In honor of the space we created with this practice, let's take a deep breath in. of all the people that are here today and that have practiced in such ways with such love. Take a deep breath in, in honor and gratitude. And in honor of each and all of you, let's take one more breath in. Blessings and Satnam. Namaste.